so much. Oh, so much. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're probably like, I know you're being sarcastic. <laughs> I don't think I anybody really misses the fog. No. First morning, we haven't had a dense fog advisory in a while. That's pretty nice. Let's get right to it. First off, our ski report. We still have those inversion conditions, so you might actually see some warmer temperatures at some of our area ski resorts. Live music Friday and Saturday up there at Bogus. That's kind of a nice addition. That yeah, I went fun. up there last week and they had that last weekend and it was it was really? nice. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Four inches in the last seven days, no new in the last 24, 10 inches in the last week up at Brunage. Hope on the slopes, a uh, fundraiser for cancer uh, on Saturday. Uh, Sun Valley, no new snow. Ski report brought to you by Sun Valley, by the way, where they've had one inch in the last three days, and our own Kelsey Anderson will be making a guest appearance <laughs> tomorrow, I think. I will be going there yeah, this weekend. That'd be nice. Tamarack, no new snow. Uh, base 17 inches, summit 50 inches. How will they recognize you with the ski goggles and they helmet? They won't. Yeah, that's the, uh, exactly. <laughs> Anthony Lakes, a beach party coming up on 31st, eight inches new in the last week at Paul Morrell. Soldier Mountain, no new snow. Grand Targhee, no new snow, 14 inches last week though. Here's our weather headlines. Less valley fog, as you noticed, and I think we'll see that again tomorrow. The inversion though continues, it hasn't gone anywhere. We still have this cold air trapped in the valley. We would probably be about five degrees warmer at least if it wasn't for that inversion. A milder weekend though, even our daytime highs will pop up to around 40 degrees. Nice looking day out there, I-84 in Franklin. Traffic moving along smoothly. The roads are dry, no fog. Life is good to be a driver again in Boise. Here is our satellite map and we have a couple waves of moisture. One pushing on to the northwest coast right here. Another one lingering back here. This one is pretty dry. This one contains a little bit moisture, just hasn't moved into radar view. And here's what we're expecting from both of those according to our future cast. This is right now, basically. As we go through time, we'll see a few clouds from time to time this afternoon, especially into this evening. So we have uh, a lot of blue sky out there. We'll probably see a little bit more cloud cover later in the day. There is uh, just after midnight. And then we go into Friday morning about uh, 11 o'clock or so. We We'll see some sunshine again tomorrow, but this disturbance starts to move in. Uh, looks like uh, in the early morning hours on Saturday, that's uh, at 4 a.m. Some showers just to the north of us. It got real close, if you notice, on the earlier frames about to Ontario and Baker City. But uh, most of that precipitation will stay to the north. We'll get a little bit more cloud cover from it and a few more clouds moving in Sunday morning. But that is about it. A continued dry forecast. Here's how it shakes out on our tight view and uh, a bit of cloud cover moving through from time to time later today. This is uh, tomorrow morning in the early morning hours and will be clear. So I think tomorrow morning's temperatures will be chilly without those clouds tucking us in. And there's Friday afternoon, the clouds right on our doorstep. In comes the cloud cover. You saw a little bit of rain to our northwest, but other than that, we're looking pretty good. Here is our forecast then, looking at partly cloudy skies on Thursday and Friday. Milder temperatures back into the 40s for a change on Sunday, Monday, on into Tuesday. Next best chance of rain, only a slight chance Wednesday. Kelsey?